Hello again, and welcome to another exciting episode of Troglodyte the Great Explorer. In this episode, we're going to go to the far right side of the map here and investigate this large swath of darkness and see if we can find anything interesting in there. Now, at this point of the game, there's probably nothing in there that we haven't seen before, but it's still worth investigating since it's, you know, episode 180-something, and uh, it should have been taken care of by now. While we're here, I figure we'll contaminate the beach yet again. Uh, <laughs> I don't know where it keeps spreading, but maybe we can figure out where it's spreading from. And uh, we'll take a brief stop at the dungeon while we're here to try out something that a viewer suggested in the previous episode. Now, I had been having issues with my Paladin Hammer farm um, in that uh, the Raven that I was using to AFK with would fly around and attack random enemies and then zoom back to me and then get stuck in my little cubby hole where I was keeping safe and making him useless thereafter. A viewer suggested that I use a pygmy staff instead so that I can get a tiki who will most likely just stand above me rather than fly out and uh, seek vengeance. <laughs> um, I think that's a great idea. The funny thing is I was actually thinking of something similar. I was thinking of using the slime staff and I'm like, well, you know, the slime staff isn't going to do enough damage. It's not even worth it. And I didn't even think I could just go up to the Tiki guy. It's just been so long since we used him. And it's even more bizarre because I've been getting pygmy staffs like crazy from fighting Planterras. I should have thought of this a long time ago. But regardless, we'll go over there and we'll check that out. But first, let me get my Clintaminator stuff out so that we can take care of that while we're over there. Okay. And that's good. And I don't need my Raven Staff up there right now. Okay, that looks pretty good. I'll also get a couple of uh, bait here. Maybe we can do a fishing quest on the way. And a potion would be nice too. Alright, there we go. Alright, we have like six things we gotta do. Let's see if we can get them all done. Plus going to fight Plantera a bunch of times. Ah, oh, I need a, I need an administrative assistant. <laughs> Ugh, okay, uh, <laughs> let's see what the uh, fishing quest would be. Johnny! What do you got for me, Johnny? What do you got for me? What do you, wait, 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 wait. Uh, slime fish, slime fish. Actually, that's right in the forest lake over here, I think. Let's take care of that before we even go over there. So we can get this done, and then we can ignore it for a little bit. And there we go, good. And we're, I took this out of my inventory, but, <laughs> and we're fishing. Oh, this is great. Nice and relax. Oh my god, first try! First try! <laughs> Maybe this is going to be a good episode. Johnny, what do you got for me? Sonar potion and a journeyman bait. Not good enough. Whatever. No biggie. I'm going to deal with it. Wait, 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 wait. Am I going to deal with it? Oh, yeah! That's right, I'm going to deal with it. <laughs> Let's go take a look at the dungeon here and see if uh, that viewer suggested would pan out. I think it will. I think it's a good idea. I think it's just I got so used to using the raven that I didn't even consider any other minions. Or at least any real significant minions. So let's start up here. If I was in here and I used the wrong mirror and Johnny is standing on the pad... <laughs> Ah, oh, jeez. I really shouldn't have the mirror in my bar up there because I use it accidentally all the time. I should have it hot barred or quick selected rather. But uh, if I had it quick selected, then I just I accidentally use it there. I I can't help myself. <laughs> okay, so if I use the tiki here, would he stay in there? Yeah, it looks like it. Looks like he would. Oh man, that's perfect. That's definitely what I should have been using. In between episodes, we'll try that out and see if that works. That is good. Good stuff. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna sneak out the long way here because I want to stay in the area so I can investigate and contaminate at the same time. Bam, bam. <laughs> Only have to worry about flying here. Flying is my Achilles heel. Oh, my Achilles wing. I guess it doesn't really matter. All right, good. Oh, there we are. And we're moving. And we're jumping. 
Ah, I still like my Raven though for pure damage, so can I get him back up here? There we go. Keep me alive, Raven. Do your job. Okay, almost there. Almost there. Here it is. And my Clintamator is already locked and loaded. Just fall a bit here. Bam, bam. Maybe it's here. I think this is a narrow space. I could see it spreading here. Let's open that up a bit. Okay, keep going. Not much to say about this. Like, ooh, I'm spraying the Clintaminator. Isn't this interesting? <laughs> okay, and yeah, I'm going to just widen all of these paths and see if that fixes it. And then, of course, there's this issue. This always spreads, no matter what I do. I'm spraying it like crazy here, just in case. Okay, and I'm also gonna... Hmm, how can I do this? Maybe if I use the rod here. I'm also gonna try to make this more... safe. So maybe it won't spread... through that little bit. All right. So I just don't know where this is spreading from. <laughs> and I'm sick of guessing. Okay, here we go. Back up. Okay, I'm using the thing. I'm using it unsparingly. Like a crazy person. Using it way up in case, for some reason, the uh, the hill goes up and it's just not on the screen. Okay, good. And let me just... Am I running out of oxygen? I am. I gotta be safe. I could die. That wouldn't be good. Keep moving. <laughs> Run out of air. Oh, wait, I made it. Good. And there we go. I think that's it. Again, that's it. See any little bits? Not really. But I never seem to see any bits. And that's my problem. Take a potion. Take a potion. And this looks pretty clear. I mean, there's that little hanging piece of vine there, but I don't even think that was um, crimsonified the last time. Alright. That is definitely separate. It, I guess it could be spreading through the wall, maybe. But I thought that was a feature for, like, 1.3. I didn't think that could happen in 1.2.4. Making a nice little line here. Nice and separated. There we go. Don't want to break that water. The merchant! Did he depart or arrive? I wasn't even paying attention. I just saw a merchant. Alright, alright, alright. I think that's pretty well separated. Honestly, don't know what have, what to do other than this. <laughs> Maybe we finally did it. I don't believe so. I believe that uh, I am cursed when it comes to this thing, but the guy can hope. Right, one last look. Yeah, I don't see anything. I don't see any little bits. Alright. Let's see what happens with that. Okay, now what's the easiest way to investigate this swath here? I guess it would be to go down here. And I'm going to use the Rod of Discord a lot. Um, just because it makes it easier sometimes to slip through these little gaps. Okay. And I got light, but maybe I should be using torches a little bit. Be nicer to you guys. Oh, don't take a potion. Okay, fine. <laughs> Use the pick. I don't care. Alright. So, nothing interesting thus far, but it's been pretty short. Pretty short trip. Blood Moon! I don't have time for blood moons. 
I'm investigating. I'm an investigator. Give me that gold. Oh, I don't have room for it. Get out of here. You two. You three. Four and five. <laughs> How are we doing on the map? Okay, pretty good. Pretty good. Guess we'll keep going left a bit. Ooh, blood moon water. Don't drink the blood moon water unless you boiled it first. That's a safe tip from Chocolate. <laughs> or any, like, Boy Scout, I guess. Right? <laughs> I wasn't a Boy Scout. I, uh, I was on track to become a Boy Scout. And, uh, I didn't make it. I made it to Cub Scouts, and then I made it to Weeblos, and, uh, then it ended. Which is sad. I mean, in retrospect, I kind of wish that I had gone through the whole thing. I mean, there's a lot of things I wish I had done in life, but, uh, I don't know. I, I wish I could have said I was a Boy Scout. What's in here? Okay, nothing. Nothing amazing. I'm gonna leave it there. Are we at the bottom of it? Yep, yeah, we're still at the bottom. Okay. And we're going down here. And I want to get that water to spread, so let's use the rod there. We're doing this kind of stuff. Sometimes I just want to use the pick as my weapon so that I don't have to change it constantly. That's just laziness. <laughs> I know it's not the best weapon. <laughs> but I feel like it gets the job done. Floaty glasses. Oh, I'm getting surrounded by floaty glasses. Okay. Oh, good. Okay. We're almost at the end of this leftmost, leftern-most part. Leftern? <laughs> uh. Okay. Oh, good. Yeah. Oh, wow. Scary. Scary things. Flying all around. One right. That's silt. I need silt. I don't need that. I need silt. Give me that. Big fan. Big fan of silt. So useful. I guess I could be getting this stuff like here, like the titanium. It's just I'm not in desperate need of it. So I don't really pay attention. But I should. Titanium's rare enough. Keep going, keep going. I know the point of this is just to kind of explore, but I mean, let's multitask a little bit. Let's get some things done. Okay. Whoops, I'm missing, I'm missing a bit here. <laughs> I don't have to be thoroughly thorough with this. Um... But I don't want to get most of it. Like if I leave a little bit on the left or the right or the top or the bottom, little little dark slivers, it's not going to bother me any. But uh, that was a big chunk there. Like see, I'm not going to bother with this part. But up here, where there's a lot, let's take care of that. And out. Good, and more silt is there. Give me a silt. Good, good, good. <laughs> Perfect. Alright, good. Good, good, good. And a single good one. Cut it. Gold. Funny thing is, when I see the gold, I'm more interested than when I see the titanium for some reason. Although titanium, I think, is supposed to be more rare. Okay. Caused a little bit of flooding, but we're okay with it. See? Oh, yeah. That's much better. Let's just head down from here. We're not going to do the whole thing, because this, this will drive us crazy. But I can head straight down from here and get a lot of this. We can come back another episode and finish it off. I still have to uh, fight Plantera. How are you doing this? Oh, I can't ignore that. Oh my goodness. Clip saved! Clip saved while I'm getting the silt. Wow. 
Lots of silt. Lots of silt. Oh, good stuff. I don't care about the crumbs. I do care about that stuff falling around me, though. Uh, Deathweed seeds. That's pretty cool. I don't need the slime. Oh, good. Okay. I'm on the right track. And gold. Definitely the right track. And silt. The doubly, triply right track. Good. Alright. Now, like I thought, I'm not really seeing anything that interesting. I saw a couple of uh, chests. I opened one up. But, uh... Yeah. It had a couple of random accessories that uh, we've long since uh, passed the need for. Okay, we got to be getting close here. I don't know if we have to go all the way to the bottom. Ooh, look at this! This is nice! Is that a goblin statue? And okay, whatever, but uh, I want the statue for sure. Not sure if we've had it before, but I want it. Let's see, what can I get rid of? Ah, jeez, I hate, I hate doing this. It's like getting rid of my kids. Back with you, Sand Kid. <laughs> All right. Oh, oh yeah, we're almost there. We're almost at the bottom. Oh, we're almost drowned. Get some air. Okay, good. <laughs> and we're just gonna go straight down from here. Something's going. Is that lava? It is. Lots of it. Give me a gold. What a haphazard trench. You can't fall down straight through this thing. This trench has scoliosis. <laughs> no, the funny thing is, and this is a crazy thing that you don't realize until, uh, you're in like high school even, I don't think. Like you'll go to the they have the scoliosis test. Ooh, something else. And uh, they check your back and see if it's like uh, bent or anything. And uh, you'll see the people in front of you. You won't even notice it on yourself because it's not like they have mirrors. But you'll see the guy in front of you. And his shoulder will be dipping like three inches to the right. Like his, like his, his shoulder will be dipping three inches down. And you'll be like, what the heck is wrong with your shoulder, man? I guess you have scoliosis. And it's not scoliosis. It's the weight of his book bag on his shoulder because he's been carried on one shoulder and it's actually physically changed his muscles in his shoulder. And that's crazy that we have books that heavy. We need Kindles. <laughs> Kindles for America. <laughs> Gotta get rid of something else to get this painting. I guess the copper. Air! 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 Gotta breathe! <laughs> Another mirror? I gotta have that too. Jeez. Oh, God. I guess the lead. Alright. <laughs> I should take the gold too. I love gold. I don't have the room though. I gotta make sacrifices. But yeah, you think the guy in front of you has scoliosis? Nope. Nope. His book bag's just too heavy. How messed up is that? And you tell the guy who's like inspecting, like, oh my God, what happened to him? And you expect him to be as concerned as you are. And he's just like, nah, he's just got a heavy book bag. <laughs> Why are we okay with this? Why am I so bent out of shape about it? <laughs> it's been a long time since I've had to worry about such things. And we're at the bottom. Okay, so we we'll still have this little swath, I guess. I thought I could do the whole thing, but this is taking such a long time. I don't think that's really feasible. So let's go back and unload... And empty our inventory a little bit. I'll probably do this off camera. And then next time you'll see me, we'll be at Plantera because uh, time is money. See you in a moment. All right, we're falling. <laughs> we're on our way to some Plantera bulbs. Got to get my pendant in my accessory slot. And I should wait until I land first. So I want to use the wings. There we go. And I checked once after a couple hours, and there were four, four bulbs, and then I let it run for a couple more hours, but I didn't check again, so we'll have at least four, I believe. All right. Wish the first one was a little closer. It's a little disconcerting. 
There we go. All right, first one. If you've awoken, Plantera, why don't you visit me? There you are. You got an axe for me, Plantera? That would be swell. That would be just swell. Okay, here we go. Time to give you some hurtin'. Put on the hurtin'. And laugh at your tentacles. Your inept tentacles. And uh, Nettle Burst, Temple Key, Greater Healing Potion, yada, yada, yada. Number two. Let's take a potion. Get a little healed up here. Say hello. Mimic. Ooh, what is that? Is that like a frozen... So I don't want to move until Plantera shows up. There she is. Okay. Yeah, Frostband. I already have it. No big deal. Look at all that damage. Look at all that critical. Lots of criticals. Big fan. Big fan of the criticals. How about an X? Give me an X. Give me an X. Nettle Burst. <laughs> Ah, uh, let's see, uh, number three. Eh, what do you know? There it is. Shoot in each direction in case something tries to sneak up at me. Not even playing terror, but... Oh, look at the hook! It snuck up on me. <laughs> I was expecting something else to sneak up on me, playing terror. You think you're all smart and funny, but you're not. Yeah, I think she's got the advantage on me in terms of damage. I really should take a potion. Oh, but I didn't. Plantera Trophy. That's nice. Another Pygmy Staff. That's nice. Shotgun or Grenade Launcher. That's nice. Try to be a little less negative. I see what I, I didn't want, and then I get... Urgh. And then I kind of I take a breath. And I, I just try to let it go. Yeah, I think this is number four. And I'm going to definitely need some health. Been messing around a little bit too much. Got to get more serious. Have you ever seen Darkwing Duck? I think uh, his uh, motto was, let's get serious. And that was well before Heath Ledger's Joker. Okay, damage, 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 and X. Mask, and launcher, and uh, it's great. Fantastic. I'm loving it. Do, 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 do. Oh, I died once before. Let's grab that. There we go. And another one. Look at that. Give me a health. Heal me up. Oh, good. Heal me up before I even have to hit you. That doesn't make any sense. I'm hitting her right now. <laughs> I think I meant before she actually gets to me. But uh, I still needed to keep using it anyway, so it's all moot. <laughs> damage, damage, damage. And optimism, optimism, optimism. Let's see the X. Mask. Launcher. That's like the third launcher, I think. Oh, yes, it is. It's number three. And another grave. I died a lot down here. I gotta pay more attention. And we got one more. Is there another one after that? Let's do a little scouting mission here. Nope, that's it. Alright, let's try... Try from the right here. Mix it up. Okay, there we go. And please don't interrupt me when I'm fighting bosses. Woodland creatures. Jungle creatures, actually. Whatever you are, stop bothering me. <laughs> right. Last chance of the day. I think this is what, number seven or eight? I don't I lost count. Oof. It's a high number though overall. Come on, don't make me go to number 200 to get this stupid axe. Temple Key, Soul Knight, Greater Healing Potion. And it looks like a grenade launcher on the ground. Let's find out. And yes, it is. 
Okay. Okay, let's find some positives. Um, I could have got nothing, I guess. Um, I could have stubbed my toe before I sat down to record this, and that would be pretty bad. That's it. That's all I got. <laughs> all right. Well, we got to 30 platinum. That's nice. And let's get those wings back on, because I'm just helpless without my wings. Durnok! Let's do some uh, trade here. Some barter. Masks. You should be giving me money for those stupid masks. I already put my pygmy sti uh, stick away, so I'm not throwing away a, a pygmy stick. And it looks like I, sh I thought... Thought? I fought six. Language! Use the right language. Alright, and I already got a full chest of greater healing potions, so I'm just going to sell that. And that. Save the seeds, save the uh, graves, and that's it. And we're almost halfway to number 31 platinum. Is there another quest I can do really quickly? Is there? Johnny? There is! Piranha... Oh, it's a jungle quest! Is there still a pet I can buy from you, Jamundi? I think I can buy the Tiki Totem. I'm gonna have to check my, uh... My chest in between episodes, and if I can buy it, I'll buy it in the next episode. I mean, I can buy it now, but I don't want to buy two. It's a waste of money. It's frivolous! <laughs> and we're fishing with the sonar. And a wooden crate, I should take that, but I was too late. Okay, good, good. Good, go ahead and attack me, that's fine. You know what, that's fine. Let me get some defense going here. There we go, now we can fish. And Tropical Barracuda, oh my god, I'm so lucky with fishing today! I'm so lucky! Johnny! Seaweed planter and bait! Ah. Actually, I shouldn't be too upset, I think the seaweed planter's new. I think that's new. I don't think I've had those before. <laughs> oh, man. Progress. Every little bit's a little bit of progress. I'm going to take it. Okay. And boom. Okay, and uh, where can we put the seaweed? <laughs> Come on. There we go. I'll put it in here. And while I'm here, let's check that. Uh, do we have a Tiki Totem in here? Yes, I do. Oh, oh see? Save some money. Thought I was going to waste it there. Alright, that's the episode. I hope you enjoyed it. Got a couple things done, I guess. Uh, cleared out some area. We fought some planters. Um, but uh, got something new with the seaweed planter. So uh, it's a successful episode. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Have a pleasant day. Take it easy. See you later. Goodbye.